Hi friends. Uh, good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm just walking. I've been praying. I'm so excited for this week of Christmas. I know you have a lot of things that you need to get done and I'm so grateful that God in an infinite wisdom would make a way to the Father that we could be in complete union with them now, tomorrow, and forever. So no matter how many days we have left on this planet, know that God loves you, he cares for you, every part of you. And I was just contemplating this morning some parenting things I'm going through, and I ended up cleaning out my my coffee maker, which I've been using for quite some time. I've been making coffee for some of you, and I thought it was amazing. Some people mentioned, wow, this is really good. And I was like, wow, it is kind of good. But as I was cleaning out the coffee maker, something just didn't seem right. And I just, I, I kept cleaning it and it was really difficult. And I had to go get some tools and this thing's brand new. It should need to get tools to undo it. But anyway, long story short, I got some tools, I disassembled it, I put it back together and I was looking at the different parts. And it just seems to, it seemed to be opposite of what I was intending for the coffee grinder to do. The behavior of the parts inside of it. I'm a stainless steel welder if you don't know that already, but that's that was my trade 30 years ago. And uh, it just seemed to be opposite. So anyway, I took out the manual and I read the manual and lo and behold, I was wrong. My assumed settings for the coffee grinder were wrong. <laughs> Thank God that I realized it. And I'm able to now go to my people I made coffee for, including maybe you and say, I'm sorry. The settings that I set it at was completely wrong. And the, the coffee should actually taste better than it did. So anyway, all that to say, have you ever had some times in your life where uh, something seems off and you just can't find out why? And my encouragement was just that the Bible, the Word of God, the holy, active, living Word of God that we've been given for life is right there. And sometimes my settings are just wrong. My parenting things are not going the way I wanted and I just need a different perspective and I'm so glad that in community like the relationship I have with you maybe I get to process those things and go back to the word and read the manual just like I did for the coffee machine I usually find out I'm wrong and I got clear perspective through a friend this morning I was just crying out to I was just like man it's so hard sometimes and I don't understand why and he's like he just gave me a different perspective he's like Maybe ask a question instead of trying to um, limit what I think parenting should look like for my child. So anyway, I don't know what this means for you, but I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to say thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for trusting Jesus and thank you for trusting me with your finances it's a high honor to go into the world and to share the gospel the way i think we're i need to i know i need to and i can't wait to get more started it's been really hard this season just to ah oh, get there you know what i mean i want to get there i want to be healthy financially so that i can really go love the community and serve really well with all integrity and purpose that god has intended for me and for you you're participating in everything that's going on out there by giving and believing in and praying for me and my family and i'm so grateful for that and i don't know if that communicates merry christmas but i think it does so thank you i pray that in jesus name by the power of the holy spirit and his active living word that you and your family would find pieces Christmas as you gather with friends, relatives, neighbors, strangers. I'm not sure who you're going to gather with, but think about this. Maybe, a maybe instead of trying to convince someone what you think is right, maybe build a relationship, ask more questions, and hold your opinion for later when the time is right. I know for me, my opinion doesn't matter. 
Word of God does. And he has something to say. He might be saying it through you. And I know he is speaking loudly and clearly to me through you. So thank you. God bless you. And Merry Christmas. I love you.